guys, it's Jokey. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're doing something super, 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 super exciting. So last year, around this time, one of my favorite books decided to come out. That is Kingdom of the Wicked. And today, I just got in the mail the next book, Kingdom of the Cursed. Let me open it really quick. And this is, oh, it's so pretty. The Barnes & Noble edition. So pretty. So this is, oh, Kingdom of the Cursed. Oh, I'm so excited. So beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. So beautiful. So today we're doing a very spoilery reading vlog. Unfortunately, right now I have to go to work, but tonight when I get back from work, you know I'm gonna be binge reading this. I have literally been so excited for this book, literally since it was announced. Literally not even then, like literally when I finished the first book, I was excited for the next one, which is this. So, in this video today, we are going to be doing a reading vlog of the Kingdom of the Cursed by Carrie Maniscalco. And I hope you guys enjoy it with me, and I hope you read it with me, so we can have a little bit of a discussion in the comment section. And I might do a live chat of this, or just another book talk, with or without spoilers, I'm not sure. But you guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm so excited. Fortunately for you, this is going to go right into the clip of me reading this. Unfortunately for me, I have to go to work for eight hours, so... <sighs> While you guys get to continue on for this video, I have to wait eight hours before I start reading. So, I will see you guys soon. Okay, now that I'm off work, we can open up this beauty. Alright, like I said, gorgeous. Unfortunately, we are taking this off. Ooh, hold on. Let me, let me read the back. Wrath, the mighty demon of war and betrayer of my soul, shifted. We stared at each other for an extended beat. I didn't need or want him. In fact, I'd say he could go straight to hell, but we'd both accomplish that. Love it. Ugh, I'm just so excited for this one. Percy has decided to join us today. Hi, Percy. Percy is saying hello. No, you may not have my cookie. Yeah, you cannot have the cookie. And you cannot lay in my white sweatshirt. Thanks, so. though. Okay, okay. It's upside down. Okay. It's so pretty! For you, dear reader, always. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh. <gasps> Sometime before. Ha, huh, I'm starting. <laughs> I have chills. I have chills. I'm so excited. Okay. Okay. I'm starting. I'm starting. Ah, uh, I'm starting. Ah, uh, uh, I'm not even excited. To I'm just so excited. Uh. I remember reading this sometime before when Carrie like released it. I read this part and I, I forgot about it until now. Ah, oh, beautiful. Chapter one. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Okay, so nothing super exciting is happening yet. So I'm going to stop filming and then give you guys an update after a couple of chapters. Although I love being back in this world. I'm just loving it. Things are happening. Okay, so I am on page 32 and they're already literally about to have sex. Like, things escalated very quickly. So we opened up the story with them being at the gates of hell and now she's like, her and Wraith are going through wrath. Not Wraith. Her and Wrath are going through Corridor of Sin and she's experiencing all these feelings. So it's like testing her to figure out what sin she like belongs under and uh, one of the best tropes have happened. So they had to make shelter for the night together and then they had to sleep right next to each other. Pretty much they started like feeling things for each other in their heads. Well, Amelia anyways. And then they start flirting back and forth and then things are escalating very quickly. Like, oh, I'm loving this. But yeah, I'm on page 32 and there's already a sex scene, which is crazy. Actually, I haven't, like, they haven't even had sex yet, but, like, it's leading up to it. So, like, I'm gonna keep reading and figure out, like, if they actually do. Because, like, I'm kind of curious, like, I want it to happen. I literally want it to happen. But, like, I wonder if she, like, snaps out of it or, like, if he snaps out of it or, like, if something happens. So, I'm gonna keep reading. I'm gonna update you guys. And let me just tell you, I'm so excited that this book is smutty because I love smut. Just saying. So, I'm gonna keep reading. It was a dream. It was fantasy. And Wraith, Wrath, oh my gosh, and Wrath just woke her up saying, While your current illusions sounds wildly interesting, you may want to put your clothes on. The temperature is well below freezing now, which means it didn't actually happen, which makes me upset. But now we know 
she definitely wants him which it wasn't really necessarily a question but it makes me sad that it wasn't real it's fine i'm sure it's gonna happen at least once in this book um yeah but i'm gonna keep reading damn okay so that finished up chapter two so Rath had pretty much promised her that them being together is going to happen. Like he said, when we're together, you're going to remember it. Not like if we're together, you're going to remember it. It's when we're together. So he's pretty much saying it's going to happen and I'm, I'm here for it. So yeah, so now I'm on chapter three. So this is kind of just an introduction. Um, I'm obviously not going to do like a chapter by chapter update. I'm going to give you guys exciting updates and I'm going to give you guys like halfway through the book updates so i'm gonna be done with updates for a little bit obviously i'm not gonna wait too long because i'm gonna want to discuss things but yeah i'm gonna keep reading and the next time i update you guys will hopefully be tonight or you guys will see me tomorrow okay so it's currently tuesday and the last update i gave you was on friday i tried my best not to read because i didn't want to give you like i didn't want to not give you guys updates but tonight I'm planning on reading a lot and it's currently like late. So I'm going to give you guys this quick update, shower, and then I'm going to read. So right now I'm on page 120 and pretty much a lot have things have happened. They made it through like the trials of hell and like now, and she ended up getting hypothermia and like Rath had to do like a bunch of like things for her, like cute things and like keeping her warm. And um, so now she's in the house of Rath and she is like going around pretty much trying to figure out how to like defeat all of these houses. That's really her true purpose. She's just trying to figure out who killed her sister so she can like burn that house to the ground. But in order to do that, she has to like, you know, figure out some information. So she's kind of going around and like learning about the house of Wrath and she's learning about Wrath himself. They also had a makeout scene, finally. It was the first one in this book that was real. Cause I was telling you guys about the like, them almost having sex in the tent, but that wasn't real. It was Amelia's imagination. But they finally had a little makeout session before their before Amelia is meeting his court, which is what they're doing right now in the book. And I'm <laughs> I'm loving it because it's literally like they're just playing a cat and mouse game of I don't like you, but I secretly do, and you know because you can tell when I tell lies. So it's just like I'm having fun reading this. I'm also having fun, like, reading Amelia starting to become super confident. Like, I remember in the first book, her sister was the confident one out of the two of them, but then she kind of, like, had to become confident, like, to accomplish things. Like, now in this book, she's really being confident. She's like, I'm gonna wear this dress, I look amazing, and I'm gonna walk in, and they're all gonna stare at me because I look great and I love that energy I love that energy for anyone especially like Amelia and like she knew she was gonna get Rath's attention so I was excited for that like meetup and that meetup ended up and then like making out so that was great yeah so that's where I'm at so far in the book I'm probably gonna get a big chunk of this done tonight I'm gonna try my best to do updates um, I don't know how many updates I'm gonna do in bed I'll obviously do like some exciting ones if like anything super exciting happens or like there's something that like I want to discuss but for now I am ending this update and you guys will see me in the next one I am in so much shock right now. Okay, so we went through a whole thing where Wraith and Amelia were like kind of fighting and then she showed up at his bed chambers and then they were hanging out and then they went to this place where they had to be naked and I'm saying a lot of this really fast because a lot of exciting things have happened. Um, oh my, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Pretty much what happened is they legit almost had sex in the spring but then her like necklace started burning and then she's taken to this matron which i'm suspecting is um the seven sins mother just by the way that like he was speaking or she was speaking to him it kind of reminds me of the relationship between the darkling and his mother um but in a funnier and like better way so anyway we learn and like apparently the matron knows the secret and it involves, like, the mark on her, like, the S mark or whatever that, like, summons Wraith. Wrath. Summons Wrath. I keep calling him Wraith. Summons Wrath. And he just told her that pretty much 
they he told her that pride is pretty much not coming for her because because of that mark she is literally his like she is his she is his betrothed and like his intended and I'm so excited like Loki that is what she that's what she wants we all know that's what she wants but like she's literally been saying oh I hope the message doesn't come soon like I love like being here and I love being like with this prince or whatever and so now we've learned that they're like still betrothed this entire time so oh, I let me tell you I'm excited so I'm now on chapter 13 let me tell you I literally I'm having the best time of my life right now. <laughs> it's currently 12.30. I have to get about 6 for work, but I'm going to keep reading because this shit is good. This is what I was hoping for because I love myself, Amelia, and Wrath. I was hoping we were going to learn to name the springs. We almost did, but I have a feeling this is going to be a whole nother Resan's last name thing, as in like A Court of Thorns and Roses. No one knows their last names. So I have a feeling this might be similar that no one's going to learn his first name, but I don't know. We might, but I'm excited. I'm going to keep reading, and I will update you guys again if something exciting happens. If not, I'll update you guys in the morning. Okay, so now I've hit chapter 16, and she is now in the Court of Envy, and I just, I don't know about her and Envy. Like, reading their interactions in the first book, I was also like, what is this? And I'm still also feeling that, and I think it's just the character Envy. Because, like, I just... He gives me weird vibes. So, like, she's there to try to figure out, like, secrets and stuff. But then she ended up taking a truth line. But so did Envy to have a conversation. And I feel like they're not even asking questions that would be, like, things that you would really want to know. I feel like they're just asking, like, normal questions. So, yeah. But it's currently 1.20. I have to get up at 6, like I said. And I'm going to go to bed now. So, hopefully... I will pick it up again tomorrow. I know for a fact I will. I just don't know how much I'm going to get done. So tomorrow you guys will definitely get a lot more updates. Hello everyone. Um, let's be, I'm going to be honest with you. I It's been a hot while since I've updated this video. But I updated in like a while. I mean probably a month and a half. So it is currently the 8th of November. Hi, cat. And I've not read much since then. But to be fair, I was trying to get my book out, which it's out now, if you didn't know. And I'm like halfway through, right? I just stopped halfway through. And now I'm here to finish it because people have been like commenting stuff on the first book vlog. So here I am trying to my best to finish this vlog. So you guys can all hear about my very spoilery opinions. So here we are at 10 at night playing, not playing, reading the rest of this book. So hopefully I can get a good chunk done tonight. Also I put the cover on because I had people over this weekend and the cover got burnt or er, bent. So we're straightening it out again. Anyway, so I'm starting on chapter 16 and I'm excited to start. Up, oh, um, just a little recap. She's currently in the castle of Envy and she's like, visiting envy and everything so like it's it's a thing so yeah i'm not gonna say too much because obviously like i've already commented on it be previously so i'm gonna read and you'll get the drama when it happens all right listen it's been on chapter 24 now it's been almost 10 chapters and i am livid right now absolutely livid okay so just a quick update from like being at Envy. So she left the next day, but she stole like a grimoire or something, but it cursed her so she no longer has powers. But no one else knows about it but Envy. And so Wraith, Wrath. And so Wrath finds out about like the skulls that are talking and everything, and he just gets very angry. And like they kind of like come to terms with like they're gonna start making sure that they like kind of address each other like as equal. And so like she pretty much makes a deal with him that is like not necessarily like everything I tell you tell you you have to tell me it's more along the lines of like you have to trust me and I'll trust you in a way and it's kind of going into the like the trainings and stuff and so like she's starting to do more training with like hand-in-hand -hand combat instead of like with magic which Wrath doesn't know she's on magic um but in the last one they've done like three so far and pretty much they've all gotten really sexual but this last one pretty much um pissed me off so I'm so livid. So she ended up asking him for pleasure. And so 
he kind of like you know pleasures her but like not in like with sex or whatever and then at the end all oh, this part pissed me off and he's like you asked for seduction i obliged now that you know what you enjoy you may find the same pleasure at your own hand good night and i'm just like sir sir are you there where did you go like i thought you were enjoying this as well like you have like literally a boner from this like why are you why did you leave and like she was literally considering she's like we're gonna complete the marriage bond like we're gonna have sex we're gonna be officially married and he's like mm -hmm. yeah we're just we're just not and i'm just like what do you mean you're not what do you mean you're not oh my I just want them to like, I just want them to specifically have sex just because I feel like there's so much tension between them. Like, I feel like it's gonna be so good for their characters to like do it. You know what I mean? Like, it's not necessarily that like I want it to happen because like I want to specifically read about it, but it's like they literally, they secretly love each other and like they literally want to be together. And I'm just like, can you guys please be together? Like, why aren't you, <laughs> why aren't you being together? Ugh. It's just stressing me out. I'm on page 307 now, chapter 24. I still have a ways away, but I'm over halfway. So that's bonus content. So I have about like this much left. I'm definitely not finishing it tonight. I'll probably end up finishing it tomorrow. So there's 433 pages. I'm on page 307. So I'm gonna keep reading, give you guys another update when I'm obviously feeling very emotional. So let me, I'm gonna keep reading and I'll update you guys again. Oh, also, it is 11, 18 at night, so it's been roughly an hour since I've started reading. Anyway, like I said, I'm gonna keep reading. Hold up. I have a few things to process, starting off with the fact that Wrath is the devil. He's Samuel. He is pretty much... What? What? Wait. Wait. Wait, 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 connections. So if she signed herself over to the devil in the first book, and he's a devil, so they were gonna get married either way. So when they get married, if they get married, the curse is gonna be broken. What, what, what is going on? Um, foreshadowing? Foreshadowing is happening, unless I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong though. And, okay, so we've missed a lot. So they went to the wolf dinner party or whatever, and, then a lot of things happened and then Amelia was gonna give her greatest fear and then Wrath is like I'm gonna give my fear and then all of his brothers were like no like we're gonna make you have sex with her actually we're gonna make you fool around with her and so when they went to go fool around like have sex or whatever they're like wait a second they didn't necessarily say we had to have sex so they pretty much went back to I believe Wrath's suite or whatever and like fooled around but didn't have sex and like but then Amelia Amelia poisoned him and put him to sleep like he didn't die he's not dead and she went to the tree or whatever I don't remember what it's called but she went to the tree and she spoke to the crone who gave her a lot of questions for questions it was really annoying and she wrote down a name that she was so sure it was rats and it was of samuel who is the devil who is now that is where i'm at and things are happening i'm definitely finishing this book tonight i have 30 pages left so you guys are gonna be coming with me oh my god okay okay okay, okay. oh oh my god and then and then earlier earlier in the book so earlier in the book amelia got like a vision of Wrath hooking up with another woman and this was like offsetting her emotions and she's like is it happening now is this the past is this me in the future and apparently it was his old lover who was originally the girl who like died or whatever and like so apparently he wait okay so it was pride's wife but Wrath was the one that was cursed and not pride. Oh my god. Things are happening. I have to stop this because my thing is about to die and I'm gonna pause my reading really quick so my camera can charge. So I'll be right back. Where's my bookmark? All right, now that my camera is charged, I'm going to do a live reading because I have a feeling these next couple pages are literally going to be insane. So, I'm gonna read, and I'm gonna do it 
while I'm still filming because I know. Oh, I have to start a spoiler. He had wings. We love men with wings here. Oh, men with wings. We love them. Okay, anyway. Wait, so he's Prince Pride? Wait, oh, I know. So he is Wrath. But everyone just thought that Wrath was Pride because. Okay, so the Horn of Hades was his wings, not Pride's, because Pride didn't have wings or something. Wait, so like, I'm just confused, because if he loves his wings, but he took them all... So, this is just saying that he took them off to like, leave heaven, but they were taken from him from the first witch, so I'm just confused. Or it's mortal tales, whatever. Huh. So he's letting Pride take the title of the king of demons or whatever, so like, cause it feeds his pride, not Wrath's pride, and like, it lets Wrath do his work better, I don't know. But right now they're kind of like, they're arguing, obviously, like Amelia just found out this, he was the devil, which I would be angry too. So like, they're just bickering back and forth. No! 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 Okay, so Wrath is like, well how do you feel? And she's like, well, I don't know how I feel yet. Like, you're the devil. And like, she's just in shock. I don't think she's like super angry. But before she can explain what happens, he leaves her. Like, excuse me, sir? Like, let her tell you how she feels? Because she says, wrath, wait, I, and then he banishes. Like, bro. Like, bro. I think she was about to tell you, like, it doesn't matter. And she wants to be with you, even though you're the devil. But this bitch runs away? Wait. Wait, is she the first witch? That's what she's thinking. She's starting to think that she's the first witch. I don't know if she's the first witch. But how would that make her the first witch if she was born a twin? So she's meeting Celestia. Which, by the way, I thought at first it was Rath's mom, like all of their moms. Because like, she was just acting like it. Okay, so she's not the first witch. And Celestia's not the first witch. Which is good. Because she's like straight up asking. So like, oh... Okay, it's been good. I want to know who killed her sister, because that's what she's here for. She's like ready to like burn down Hal for her sister. Which makes sense, but she figured it out. She figured it out where the temptation key is. Oh, the paperweight on his desk is the key. Wait, wait, so Envy gave her the key? I'm confused now. <laughs> Sin quarter. I'm so confused. So the seven sisters, are they actually like seven sisters? Like, I'm just so confused what that is. Ugh. She's making a big mistake and I'm really nervous to what's gonna happen. Oh, she found the seven. She found the stone of the seven, I think. Ugh. How does Celestia get there? Okay, so she is the crone, which is what she's suspected this entire time. Oh shit, shit's happening. <gasps> oh, oh yes. Wraith left her a note. Wrath left her a note in the book. No, no, she's gonna make a bad decision. I feel like Envy is just making her do dumb shit. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the first witch killed them all. Wait, wait. Victoria's alive? What? What's going on? Oh, 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 shit's happening. Shit is happening. No! Oh my god, okay. So, the mirror showed her the present of Victoria being alive with Antonio with the first witch and they stole Ant Antonio out of the basement and Victoria left a message for her saying, come to the Shifting Isles, sister, we have much to discuss about the breaking remainder of our curse, answers await your arrival until then, stand back. What does that mean? Huh? What does that mean? Hmm? Also, apparently Victoria lived. Which doesn't make any sense, but okay. Okay. So, Amelia is the first witch, apparently. Yeah, so she is. She's the first witch. Um, now she's very angry. Very angry, and I understand. Because Victoria's alive, and has been lying to her this entire time. She's like tormenting her. And now she's with Wrath, and it's gonna. I'm feeling it's gonna get interesting. 
because now she's just thinking about her family and how she's so angry at them. And I'm really curious where her and Wrath are gonna go. Oh, oh yeah, she's pissed. <laughs> Not the fact that Wrath is scared of her. This is gonna be great. God, we love powerful women here. Oh, but okay, so he's not telling her. He's being really silent right now, but apparently the curse is not allowing him to tell her. So she's like not, she's not mad at him. She straight up said that. She just wants to know the story of her sister and what the hell is going on. Oh my God. Okay, so this is what I was originally planning. When she was going to like his chambers, I thought she was like originally just gonna go have sex with him to like break the curse. And then she's just talking about all this history stuff, and now she's starting to consider, like, oh, if we get married, blah, 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 blah. So I'm wondering if we're finally going to get that scene. Wait, this pit, the book is done in two pages? No! Okay. <laughs> oh, she's, like, asking him if, like, he would actually choose her, which is what I've been hoping for this entire time. If he says no, I would fucking kill him, I swear. Oh. She's choosing him as her husband. Yes, I'm loving this. I just totally read the last line. Yay, yes. Oh, yes. The last line is, then I suggest coming to bed, your majesty. Amazing. Yes. Now we're on the acknowledgements. But we are going to read... So I have um, Ray's point of view. I also have the books a million. So also in Ray's point of view, Wrath, Wrath's point of view. I'm so sorry I keep calling him Wraith. It's Wrath. So I hope they're not the same. Cause like that'd be kind of boring. Okay, so these are all from the first book. Originally chapter one of Kingdom of the Wicked. Oh, ooh. So like we're getting, I don't even know how to describe this scene. I think we're back in hell with pride and wrath and it's like Victor Victoria's body, I think. I don't, what is going on? Okay, so apparently pride was always supposed to be, so pride was supposed to be delivering the witches to wrath, but when Victoria died, so it wasn't Victoria's daddy who died. Victoria was being collected by Wrath for the first time, and that's when Amelia saw him and just assumed things. Okay. I don't even know what the fuck is happening. Uh, chapter one, kind of boring. Didn't have Amelia in it. I'm really just here for Amelia and Wrath. Um, so chapter three, which is originally supposed to be chapter three of King of the Wicked. I'm just skimming this until I see people. Wait, I'm just so confused. I'm so confused. Oh, what is happening? So they found a dead witch. And this was before him and Amelia met. So I think this is the witch before Victoria? I'm not sure. Prince of Wrath, the lead scene from Kingdom of the Wicked. Directly after chapter four of the final raft. Wait, so is that, so is this Victoria's death? Wait, and you know who she really is? Wait, 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 wait. So Victoria is also someone? Bro, these extra scenes are just confusing me. Hold on. Oh, now, now we are at the summoning of Wrath from the first book. Oh my God, so Wrath always knew who she was? Okay, I just finished the bonus chapters. Um, they really just confuse me, if I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna go quickly look at the Books A Million edition and hope that it's not the same, because honestly, I'm gonna be pretty mad if it is the same. So what's the point of having a Books A Million and a Barnes Noble edition if they're just the same? So if anyone was wondering, this is the normal edition I have the books, or the uh, Barnes Noble edition. And I also got the Fairy Loot edition. That's still on its way. Oh. Oh, it's just interviewing Raph. Ooh, the cannoli recipe. Okay, well, we didn't really get, I feel like, well, that sounds fun. It's just like House of Wrath. This is interviewing him. 
gives us a cannoli recipe, and then gives us a playlist. Which kind of makes me kind of sad, because I feel like I, feel like I should have gotten more than that. Anyway, alright you guys, my final thoughts. So, for me, obviously a rating of 5 out of 5. I probably didn't show how much I loved this book, but I absolutely <laughs> loved this book, let me tell you. I'm a little bit bummed out that they, that they didn't get together until the very end. I Me mean, honestly didn't really get to see it, but it is such a good like foreshadowing for the third book because, ugh, yes, I'm also very happy that this is not just two books because this is probably one of my all-time favorite series, low-key, and I love Rap and Amelia. And Amelia is such like a badass bitch in this book. Like she, she just radiates that energy of don't F with me cause I'll kill you. And I, I love that. Yeah, so I really hope that you guys liked this vlog because it has a lot of emotions in it and it has obviously a lot of spoilers and I'm sure there's a lot more I could like talk to you guys about, but I, got to some points where I Loki just like had to just keep reading and I didn't want to update because I just wanted to keep reading so I'm sorry if I missed anything you wanted to talk about but as you obviously all know this is a spoilery vlog so if you want to actually talk about something um talk about it down below and I will 100% respond because I literally am so obsessed with this book and this book series so let me tell you, I'm ready for a discussion for this. Let me know if you want a live show because I will 100% do a live show. So please let me know what you guys think. Like I said, comment down below. Like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!